so hello everyone at this class i am going to discuss another interesting topic of matrices that is method to solve problems based on the nth power of a matrix method to solve problems based on the nth power of a matrix that means if a matrix is given to us if a matrix is given to us then how can we prove or how can we show that the nth power of a matrix is equal to the given matrix okay once again i am repeating in such type of problem in such type of problem a matrix is given to us that is the same matrix a in such type of problem a matrix is given to us and we have to show or we have to prove that the nth power of the matrix that is on multiplying the matrix a up to n times will give the original matrix that is the given matrix okay once again i am repeating listen carefully in such a type of problem a matrix is given to us and we have to show or we have to prove that the nth power that is on multiplying the matrix a up to n times will give the given matrix a only that means we know how to find the value of a square in case of matrix a square can be written as a into a yes even we can find the value of a cube which can be written as a into a into a like a to the power 4 also we can find out but if the power is like a to the power n what does it mean a to the power n means you have to multiply the matrix a up to n times right but if you go by if you use this this method like normal method you can say a into a into a up to n times it will take more time see a to the power n it is difficult to find out if you use this normal multiplication method okay so to solve such type of problems that is the problems based on nth power of a matrix to solve such type of problems we use some steps okay there are few steps by using those steps only we can solve this type of problem don't use this normal method it is difficult to find the value of a to the power n by using this normal method like a into a into a up to n times for this some steps are there now i will write those steps so step number 1 to solve such type of problem there are few steps so the first step is the first step is let us consider let us consider the given the given statement or you can say the given matrix let us consider the given statement as p of n let us consider the given statement or you can say the given matrix as p of n whatever matrix will be given to us just we have to consider it as p of n okay this is the first step second step check whether p of n is true or not that is p of 1 is true or not that is for n equal to 1 for n is equal to 1 check whether p of n is true or not this is the second step okay the first step is whatever matrix will be given to us you have to consider that statement or that matrix as a p of n second step is you have to replace this n by 1 that means you have to check p of 1 is true or not okay p of 1 is true or not that means you have to check whether left hand side is equal to right hand side or not if left hand side is equal to right hand side that means only we can say that p of 1 is true otherwise it is false लेकिन P of one true होना चाहिए, ओके? This is second step. Now step number three. Let us consider. Let us consider the given statement. The given statement be true. 
be true for n is equal to k. This is the third step. Let us consider the given statement be true for n is equal to k. Once again, I am repeating the given statement means the given matrix be true for n is equal to k. Means here you have to replace n by k. In the second step, you have to replace n by 1. In the third step, you have to replace n by k. Okay. And the last step, that is step number 4. We have to prove, we have to prove that the given statement, the given statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. We have to prove that the given statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. This is step number 4. This is the final step. Okay, once again I am repeating the steps to solve the problems based on nth power of a matrix. We use these four steps. By using these four steps you can solve any problems based on nth power of a matrix. First of all you have to consider the given matrix or the given statement as P of n. The second statement is Check whether P of 1 is true or not. That means just replace N by 1 on left hand side as well as on right hand side. If LHS is equal to RHS, that means we can say that P of 1 is true. Third step, let us consider the given statement or the given matrix be true for N is equal to K. And the last step, we have to prove that the given statement is true for N is equal to K plus, K plus 1. Now, I will ask one question. These steps already we have used in one chapter in class 11. Can you tell me wh what, which chapter that one? These steps we use in principle of mathematical induction chapter. That is in class 11 already we got. Okay, n equal to 1, then n equal to k, then n equal to k plus 1. So these steps already we have used. So we have some idea. You have some idea about this. Okay, so let us take one example related to this uh, topic so the first question is the first question is question number one if a is equal to matrix cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta then prove that a to the power n is equal to cos n theta sin n theta minus sin n theta cos n theta now what is this n for all n belongs to natural number okay this small letter n i have written here a to the power n what is this small letter n so for all n belongs to natural number. So this is one question. This is the first example related to this topic, nth power of a matrix. So one matrix is given to us. A is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta. One matrix is given to us and you have to prove that the nth power of that matrix. Once again I am repeating the nth power of the matrix that is a to the power n is equal to this one. Okay. So to solve this type of problem the first step we all know let this is the solution let the given statement that is the given matrix as p of n that means p of n such that a to the power n is equal to cos n theta sin n theta minus sin n theta cos n theta okay this is our P of n. Now the question is why I am taking a to the power n as a P of n? Why not I am taking this matrix? Because in this matrix there is no n. P of n means wo equation mein to n hona chahiye. Direct uh, uh, P of n kaise consider kar sakte if there is no n in that particular matrix. Okay, so that's why jo term mein, means jo matrix may n hai. Wohi matrix ko P of n consider karna hai. Ye baad thik se yaad rakhna hai. Thik hai? The matrix which contains n. That is the nth power. That matrix only you have to consider it as 
P of n. So this is the first step. Yes. Whatever steps I have given, I will follow only those four steps only. So this is the first step. Now the second step is you have to put n is equal to one. So if I put n is equal to one, both on left hand side as well as on right hand side in this statement. So if I put n is equal to one here, we'll get a to the power one, and we all know that a to the power one is nothing but a only. Okay, this is equal to. If I replace now here n by one, one into theta that is theta, which means cos theta. Here also, if I replace n by one, we get sine theta minus sine theta cos theta. Okay, this is a. So after putting n is equal to one in this statement, what we got? A is equal to cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta, and this is nothing but this matrix. This का मतलब है के n equal to one ये statement में put करने के बाद you have to get the mat this matrix the matrix which is free from n वो matrix आना चाहिए अगर आए आएगा तो then only we can say that p of one is true अगर n equal to one put करने के बाद ये matrix से satisfy नहीं किया तो then p of one is not true then no need to proceed right Okay, so after putting n equal to one, we got this matrix only, which is given in the question. So therefore, clearly we can say that here p of one is true. P of one is true. Okay. So, मैं जैसे लिख रहा हूँ वैसे statement लिखना है because this is not short question, this is not MCQ question, this is long question. Long question means like three or four marks question. So in three or four marks question, don't use the shortcut method. Okay. So just to follow these steps. P of n, then put n is equal to one step by step. I am going. So these two steps are over. Clear. Now the third step. What is the third step? What is the third step? The third step is let us consider. Let us consider the statement. That means the given matrix. Be true for. n is equal to k this is the third step means already we have we have assumed that the given statement means the given matrix is true for n is equal to k so since we already we have considered it is true that means just you need to replace n by k so that is a to the power k is equal to replace this n by k on left hand side as well as on right hand side this is equal to cos k theta sin k theta माइनस साइन के थीटा कॉस के थीटा दिस इज से इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके थर्ड स्टेप ऑलरेडी हम लोग कंसिडर कर लिया कि इट इज ट्रू फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू के अगर ऑलरेडी ट्रू है तो विच मीन्स डायरेक्टली वी कैन राइट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड यस सो वही मैं लिखा लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड दिस इज से इक्वेशन नंबर वन और हमेशा थर्ड स्टेप जो है मींस एन इक्वल टू के पुट करने के बाद उसको हमेशा इक्वेशन वन कंसिडर करो बिकॉज देयर इज यूज इसको यूज करना पड़ेगा इन द फाइनल स्टेप ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द थर्ड स्टेप नाउ द फाइनल स्टेप नाउ द फाइनल स्टेप इज For n is equal to k plus one, we have to prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Okay, so for n is equal to k plus one, कहाँ पे put करना पड़ेगा n का value k plus one जहाँ पे n है वहाँ पे put करना है. So if I replace this n by k plus one, we'll get a to the power k plus one, and a to the power k plus one can be written as a to the power k into a. Yes or not? The laws of exponent x to the power m plus n can be written as x to the power m. इन टू एक्स टू दावर एन सो मैं वही अप्लाई किया यहाँ पे लॉज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट ए टू दावर के प्लस वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए टू दावर के इन टू ए टू दावर वन और एन टू ए टू दावर वन इज नथिंग बट ए ओनली ओके आफ्टर दैट पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए टू दावर के एज वेल एज ए टू दावर वन सो वट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए टू दावर के दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए टू दावर के ओके सो रिप्लेस ए टू दावर के बाई कॉस के थीटा साइन के थीटा माइनस साइन के थीटा कॉस के थीटा इनटू मैट्रिक्स ए दिस इज आल्सो गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज कॉस थीटा साइन थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा ओके 
Now between these two matrices here multiplication sign is there. So since these two between these two matrices here multiplication sign is there, so multiply these two matrices. You know uh, how to multiply two matrices that is row into column. Okay, so ith row into kth column. So first matrix row into second matrix column. Cos k theta. The corresponding element of cos k theta is cos theta. So multiply these two elements. That is cos k theta into cos theta minus actually here plus sign should be there. But since here minus sign is there, we all know plus minus is minus. So minus sin k theta into sin theta. Again this row into second column now. That is cos k theta into sin theta. Cos k theta into sin theta plus sin k theta into cos theta. Now second row first column that is minus sin k theta into cos theta minus sin theta into cos k theta. Again second row second column now minus sin k theta into sin theta plus cos k theta into cos theta. Okay. So after multiplication, now we have to use some trigonometric formula. That is, if I consider, if I consider this k theta as angle A and this theta as angle B, cos theta ko angle k theta ko angle A le liya or theta ko angle B liya. So cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Is there any formula of cos A cos B minus sin A sin B? Yes. Cos A cos B minus sin A sin B is equal to cos of A plus B. So cos A cos B minus sin A sin B can be written as cos of A plus B which means cos of K theta plus theta. Sin A cos B plus cos A sin B this is equal to sin of A plus B that means sin of K theta plus theta. Now from the third element from the third element if I take minus common this will be sin of k theta plus theta and what about the last element that is the fourth fourth element again cos a cos b minus sin a sin b which means cos of a plus b that is cos of k theta plus theta so after that can i take theta common from here yes we can take theta common from here so take theta common this will be then k plus 1 into theta so from each and every element we can take theta common sin of k plus 1 into theta minus sin of k plus 1 into theta cos of k plus 1 into theta okay so main kya kya yaha pe multiply multiply karne ke baad do matrix ko multiply karne ke baad fir trigonometric formula apply kiya after that i have taken theta common from all four all the four elements so if I take theta common, this will be cos of k plus 1 theta, sin of k plus 1 theta, minus sin of k plus 1 theta, cos of k plus 1 theta. Now, once you check the question, jo proof karne ke liye diya tha, uska right hand side kya hai? a to the power n is equal to what the right hand side part? Cos of n theta. Now, hum log jo proof kar rahe, final step, usme n ke jaya mein kya put kya hai? k plus 1. So if I replace this n by k plus 1, the first element will be cos of k plus 1 theta. Similarly, the second element will be sin of k plus 1 theta. Third element minus sin of k plus 1 theta. And the fourth element is cos of k plus 1 theta. So after putting n is equal to k plus 1, whether it satisfies the given equation or not. Yes, it is satisfying the given equation. So after that, the conclusion part you have to write in this way. Therefore, the given statement or the given matrix the given statement or the given matrix is true is true for all n belongs to natural number like this you have to write the conclusion part okay after getting k plus 1 you have to write this step therefore the given statement is true for all n belongs to natural number actually here we are using principle of mathematical induction okay so zyada kuch dif, matlab, tough question nahi hai see for steps yaad rakho aur wo steps kaha pe use karna hai jab nth power diya rahega matrix mein isi liye to heading mein diya gaya hai 
मेथड टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन एनथ पावर ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स जो मैट्रिक्स में पावर एन रहेगा इन सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओनली यू हैव टू यूज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन राइट वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आई विल गिव देन इट विल बी क्लियर ओके तो टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए इज इक्वल टू मैट्रिक्स थ्री माइनस फोर वन माइनस वन देन प्रूव दैट a to the power n here also nth power is given so since nth power is given so directly we can say that here we have to use the principle of mathematical induction so prove that a to the power n is equal to 1 plus 2n minus 4n n 1 minus 2n what is this n here now now here n belongs to any positive integer z to the power plus means n represent positive integer okay so first step let p of n such that a to the power n is equal to 1 plus 2n minus 4n n 1 minus 2n this is p of n this is the first step okay second step put n is equal to 1 on left hand side as well as on right hand side so n ka value 1 put karne se main kya bola tha ke kya aana chahiye tha एन का वैल्यू वन पुट करने से जो मैट्रिक्स यहाँ पे दिया गया है दैट इज द मैट्रिक्स व्हिच इज फ्री फ्रॉम एन वो मैट्रिक्स आना चाहिए सो लेट अस टेक वंस इफ आई पुट एन इज इक्वल टू वन ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट विल बी ए ओनली दिस इज इक्वल टू इफ आई पुट एन इफ आई रिप्लेस दिस एन बाई वन वन प्लस टू दैट इज थ्री माइनस फोर वन माइनस वन सो आफ्टर पुटिंग एन इक्वल टू वन वेदर वी आर गेटिंग द गिवेन मैट्रिक्स और नॉट येस आफ्टर पुटिंग एन इक्वल टू वन वी आर गेटिंग द Given matrix. So since we are getting the given matrix, therefore we can say that p of one is true. Second step is clear. What is the third step? Third step is let us consider. Let us consider p of n be true. Be true for n is equal to k. Let us consider the given statement, or the given statement means p of n only. So you can write the given statement, or you can write p of n also. Same meaning only. So let us consider p of n be true for n is equal to k. So therefore, we can write p of k such that a to the power k is equal to one plus two k minus four k k. वन माइनस टू के दिस इज से इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके जस्ट यू हैव टू रिप्लेस एन बाई के वेर एवर एन इज देर ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एज वेल एज राइट हैंड साइड बोथ साइड में एन को हटा के के बैठाना है ठीक है और मैं वो भी बोला था कि जो थर्ड स्टेप होता है वो उसको हमेशा इक्वेशन वन एज्यूम करना पड़ता है बिकॉज ये इक्वेशन को फिर यूज करना पड़ेगा फाइनल स्टेप में ओके सो ना ऑन द लास्ट स्टेप वॉट इज द लास्ट स्टेप Now for n equal to k plus one, you have to prove LHS equal to RHS or not. Okay. So now for n is equal to k plus one, if I replace n by k plus one, we can write a to the power k plus one. And a to the power k plus one is nothing but a to the power k into a. Can I write? Yes. A to the power k plus one can be written as a to the power k into a. Now after that, you put the values of a to the power k. And a so a to the power k means this value only, which means one plus two k minus four k k one minus two k into matrix A that is three minus four one minus one. Okay. Put the values of a to the power k and a. So after putting the values of a to the power k and a, now we need to multiply. These two matrices. So multiplication means i th row into k th column. So one plus two k. The corresponding element of one plus two k is three. So three into this term, which means three plus six k minus four k into one, which means minus four k. Again, this row first row into second column now, which means it will be minus four minus eight k. Minus four k into minus one. This will be plus four k. Now second row, first column. There is three k plus one minus two k. Second row, second column. There is minus four k 
माइनस वन प्लस टू के दिस इज इक्वल टू नाउ सिक्स के माइनस फोर के इज टू के विच मीन्स थ्री प्लस टू के माइनस फोर माइनस फोर के हेयर इट विल बी थ्री प्लस दैट इज के प्लस वन दिस वन विल बी माइनस वन माइनस टू के माइनस फोर के माइनस वन माइनस माइनस प्लस टू के सो आफ्टर मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी गॉट थ्री प्लस टू के माइनस फोर माइनस फोर के के प्लस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू के नाउ वंस यू चेक इफ आई रिप्लेस दिस एन बाय के प्लस वन एक्चुअली मेरा आंसर अभी आ गया बट यू हैव टू वेरीफाई वेदर इट इज करेक्ट और नॉट कैसे चेक करोगे बिकॉज वी आर चेकिंग फॉर एन इक्वल टू के प्लस वन राइट सो ऑन राइट हैंड साइड इफ वी पुट एन इफ यू रिप्लेस एन बाय के प्लस वन देन वट विल बी द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इफ यू रिप्लेस एन बाय के प्लस वन दिस विल बी वन प्लस टू इन टू के प्लस वन ये सो नॉट दैट इज वन प्लस टू के प्लस टू दैट इज थ्री प्लस टू के यस थ्री प्लस टू के मुझे मिला विच मीन्स फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज ओके वट इज द सेकेंड एलिमेंट माइनस फोर इन टू एन दैट इज माइनस फोर इन टू के प्लस वन दिट कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस फोर के माइनस फोर यस माइनस फोर के माइनस फोर वही तो आया ओके थर्ड एलिमेंट इज एन लेकिन एन को हटा के मैं क्या पुट किया के प्लस वन यस मुझे के प्लस वन मिला वर अबाउट द लास्ट एलिमेंट लास्ट एलिमेंट इज हेयर वन माइनस टू एन इफ आई रिप्लेस एन बाई के प्लस वन तो फिर आंसर क्या होगा वन माइनस टू के माइनस टू विच मीन्स माइनस वन माइनस टू के वही मिला मुझे माइनस वन माइनस टू के सो दे आर फॉर आफ्टर दिस स्टेप आफ्टर दिस स्टेप ठीक से सुन लो आफ्टर दिस स्टेप जस्ट यू नीड टू अरेन्ज according to this question means you have to replace n by k plus 1 wherever n is there you just replace n by k plus 1 so like this you have to write see 1 plus 1 plus 2 into n replace n by k plus 1 because 1 plus 2 into k plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 2k only jo mujhe mila isko arrange karna hai according to question okay so minus 4 minus 4k can be written as minus 4 into k plus 1 n can be written as k plus 1 minus 1 minus 2k can be written as 1 minus 2 into k plus 1 okay because 1 minus 2 into k plus 1 is equal to only minus 1 minus 2k so according to question you have to arrange the last step to fir ye confirm ho jata hai ke n ka value k plus 1 satisfy kiya ke nahi kiya yes it is satisfying clearly we can say so you know the last conclusion part what is the conclusion part after this step you have to write that the given matrix or p of n is true for all n belongs to z plus okay last question mein n belongs to natural number diya tha jo diya rahega condition wohi likhna hai theek hai so this is all about method how to solve for problems based on nth power of a matrix so two examples i have given so once you check these two examples after that try to solve the questions related to nth power of a matrix from ncert i think these questions are there in miscellaneous exercise so try to solve those questions related to nth power of x some more examples i will give let us take one more example but not this one is related to nth power of a matrix this one is another example different example that is question is important find the matrix x find the matrix x such that x into this one is x okay x into this matrix which is equal to this one okay see there is a difference between find the value of x and find the matrix x find the value of x means you may get some value like constant figure right but find the matrix x which means you have to find the value of x in matrix form <clears throat> okay you have to find the value of x in matrix form so to find any matrix or to construct any matrix the first thing is you should know the order of that particular matrix mai pehle bhi bola tha to construct any matrix if you don't know the order of that matrix then 
we cannot identify or we cannot find the elements of that particular see agar foundation nahi pata to ghar kaise banaoge foundation hi agar nahi diya to ghar theek se hoga kya nahi hoga so isiliye ek matrix ko construct karne ke liye pehle uska order pata hona chahiye so here also you have to find the value of x which means the matrix x so for this first we should know what will be the order of this matrix a what will be the order of this matrix x so how can we find the order let us check once since here it is given that x into this matrix is equal to this one which means this one this matrix jo right hand side mein diya gaya hai wo kya hai it is the resultant matrix iska matlab x aur ye matrix ko multiply karne ke baad hi to ye result mila to ye jo result mila what is the order of this resultant matrix what is the order of this resultant matrix so the order of this resultant matrix is 2 into 3 yes now you check this matrix the order of this matrix is also 2 into 3 yes or not now matrix multiplication rule kya bola jata hai if the order of a is m into m m by n the order of a, b say m into p then the order of the resultant matrix will be m by p yes or not बीच में मल्टीप्लीकेशन साइन है मतलब ए और बी को मल्टीप्लाई करने से मुझे सी मैट्रिक्स मिला व्हाट इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ सी एम इन टू पी दर इज एम बाई पी कैसे कैसे मिला ये एम बाई पी कंडीशन क्या है इफ द नंबर ऑफ कुलम्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स दर इज इफ द नंबर ऑफ कुलम्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ रो ऑफ मैट्रिक्स बी देन ओनली वी कैन से दैट multiplication will exist and the order of the resultant matrix is m into p or m by p okay the order of the resultant matrix is m by p to yahan pe c ka value diya gaya hai and we know the order also 2 into 3 right we know order of this matrix also then what will be the order of x who can tell order of x is equal to order of x is equal to kya hona chahiye x ke sath jo matrix diya gaya hai iska row kya hai 2 तो इसका मतलब x का जो कुलम होगा वो भी तो 2 होना चाहिए बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ कुलम्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स मस्ट बी इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ रो ऑफ द सेकंड मैट्रिक्स सो क्लियरली वी कैन से दैट द कुलम द कुलम नंबर ऑफ कुलम्स ऑफ x विल बी 2 ओनली सो इफ द नंबर ऑफ कुलम्स ऑफ x 2 देन व्हाट विल बी द नंबर ऑफ रोस नंबर ऑफ रो क्या होने से रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स का ऑर्डर टू इंटू थ्री होगा नंबर ऑफ रो मतलब यहाँ पे एम का वैल्यू जो होगा वो ही तो रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स का वैल्यू है सो रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स का रो क्या है टू दिया गया है विच मीन्स वी कैन से दैट द ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स द ऑर्डर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स एक्स इज टू बाई टू यस अभी एक बार चेक कर सकते हो ऑर्डर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स एक्स टू बाई टू ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज टू बाई थ्री then the order of the resultant matrix will be 2 into 3 only which is given okay so ek matrix ko construct karne ke liye pehle uska order pata hona chahiye ek ghar banane ke liye pehle foundation lena chahiye yes so to find the matrix x first you have to check the order of the matrix x so let x is equal to A, B, C, D, whose order two by two. Yes, already clear. हो गया कि ये order two by two ही होगा. Two by two means how many elements? Four elements, which means two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. So let the four elements be A, B, C, D. I have considered the elements be A, B, C, D. Okay. So now according to question, according to question, A, B, C, D into one, two, three. Four, five, six. This is equal to matrix minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, two, four, six. Now, what you have to do? Multiply these two matrices now. So, after multiplication, let us check a into one. That is a plus four b. Again, first row into second column. That is twice a plus five b, thrice a plus six b. Now second row first column that is C plus four D, two C plus five D, three C plus six D. This is equal to matrix minus seven minus eight minus nine two four six. 
okay so after multiplication now you have to check whether these two matrices are equal or not yes now since these two matrices are equal which means their corresponding elements are also equal so corresponding elements are also equal means what is the corresponding element of a plus 4b the corresponding element of a plus 4b is minus 7 so a plus 4b is equal to minus 7 this is say equation number 1 2a plus 5b is equal to minus 8 this is another equation 3a plus 6b which is equal to minus 9 equation number 3 then c plus 4d this is equal to 2 equation 4 next 2c plus 5d this is equal to 4 and 3c plus 6d which is equal to 6 equation 5 equation 6 so there are 6 equations now what we have to do you have to solve these equations to find the values of a b and c and d so solve 1 and 2 find a and b if i solve 1 and 2 see what will happen equation 1 into 2 which means twice a plus 8b this is equal to minus 14 or equation 2 ke saath 1 multiply kar do make the coefficient of a equal so 2a plus 5b is equal to minus 8 so if i subtract these two equations so twice a twice a will be cancelled this will be 3b minus 7 which is equal to minus 2 so b is equal to minus 2 now put the value of b either in the first equation or in the second equation so if i put the value of b in the first equation this will be then a is equal to minus 7 plus 8 this is equal to 1 only okay a is 1 b equal to minus 2 now you can solve 3 4 any two equations you take the equations which contains now c and d solve those equations now okay so if i solve now see uh, there is equation number 4 and equation number 5 let's see what will happen equation 4 case other we 2 multiply to make the coefficient of c equal this will be 2c plus 8d is equal to 4 or equation 5 case are 1 multiply karne se to ye ho jayega 2c plus 5d this is equal to 4 so if i subtract it so d is equal to 0 so if i solve 4 and 5 d will be 0 so put the value of d either in equation 4 or in equation 5 so if i put the value of d in equation 4 then c is equal to 2 c is equal to 2 now put all these values that is the value of a b c and d in this matrix so therefore therefore x is equal to x is equal to what is the value of a a is 1 what's the value of b b is minus 2 what's the value of c c is 2 what's the value of d d is 0 so this is matrix x okay so jab bhi aisa matrix ek matrix construct karne ke liye dega pehla cheez hai ke uska order find out karo agar order pata chal gaya to you can easily find out the elements okay so like this you have to find the order first and then jo equation diya gaya jo requirement hai usi ke hisab se proceed karna hai beech mein agar do matrix ke beech mein agar multiplication sign hai to you have to multiply do matrix ke beech mein agar plus sign hai to add karo sub minus sign hai to subtract karo jo diya rahega usi ke hisab se arrange karna hai okay so this is one important question some more questions are there i will discuss in the next class so thank you for today